Hi guys, welcome back. Am I in the same clothes that I used when I filmed the St. Jane video? Yes. Is it five seconds later? Also yes. So I wanted to speak with my audience because I'm sure that like if you're not a subscriber, you're probably not gonna watch this video. So I figured like it doesn't matter if I change my shirt or whatever. I just wanted to talk really like candidly and frankly with you guys about kind of my channel, my feelings toward the, I guess you could say the beauty community, um, my space in it and like how I want to proceed. So I hope you are doing well. This is just going to be me talking. So it's not going to be like any of my other videos, but I thought it was kind of like important and definitely has been weighing heavily on my mind. So as always, you can like it, subscribe. I know you're probably already subscribed if you're watching this and definitely give me a comment below just kind of on your thoughts. I'm just interested in hearing what other people have to say about it because at the end of the day, like if people aren't watching my videos, then I'm just talking into a camera. So it's all for you. I can't always implement every single change that people suggest, but I do take and I respond to all my comments. I am a small channel, so I can do that. But I, I take what you guys have to say so seriously and you often give me a lot of creative ideas and like direction for my channel. So it is important that I continue that conversation. Okay, so what have I been thinking? I think if you are following me on Instagram, which is Dana Ripperton at Instagram, you might have seen my story about this that I was just feeling burnt out, I guess, but like kind of over the, the whole consumerism of it all. And I thought if I'm feeling that way, how can others not? It's just like the point in history that we're at where it's like, you're getting ads on Instagram, on Facebook, on YouTube, on every everything that you turn to is selling you something. And I try not to be that because I'm reviewing products. So like, if I don't like something, I'll tell you that. But like, I also like, a lot of products so but it doesn't mean that you have to buy everyone but that's also a hard line because you know what am i putting out if i'm reviewing a product and i say i love it like then you kind of want to go out and buy it and so that feeds into the whole consumerism thing as well and that's been just one of those things where i'm like i have so much stuff like i don't need it all i don't use it all i want and i give it away to my friends all the time like i try as hard as i can i sell off sunscreens that i don't need but it's still a lot and it still weighs on me. And I think that the growth in my channel, like I am so appreciative of where I am, but I am like, let's not me like have illusions of grandeur. I am a very, very small channel, like micro, micro. And so is this gonna be my career? I mean, probably not, maybe. Like I could blow up, who knows? But I, you know, I do have a job that pays the bills and this is kind of like, the, the side hustle, the, the passion project, if you will. But I don't think it's gonna be something that sustains my lifestyle forever. So I do have to take into consideration like what I want to do and like what makes me feel good. And I will tell you, there are a few things that make me feel really good. Reviewing sunscreen, I love it. I think that there is a value to that because sunscreen protects your face from UV radiation from skin cancer. If you're looking to like have a healthier, I guess like a younger, <laughs> I'm gonna use quotations, but like kind of healthy skin in the long term, sunscreen is hands down the best thing you can do. You can buy all the fancy skincare, it's not gonna do anything if you're not using sunscreen. So I do find value and I hope others find value in sunscreen reviews, but it also means that I'm like kind of turning out videos on new products and people are I guess tempted to buy them <laughs> so that's always a struggle but i think i will remain reviewing sunscreens it's just something i love and adore the other thing i i started this channel actually on was reviewing tubing mascaras i will probably still review them i just don't know like i mean they're not like multitudes of tubing mascaras coming out but i think i'll still review them just because like again like if you buy one tubing mascara and that's the one you love and you found it for, through me like, I think that that's better than you going out and spending a million dollars and buying 20 tubing mascaras and not using them. So I will remain doing that. In terms of makeup, I'm probably not gonna be doing any more makeup. You know, I do love skin tints and I have all these skin tints that I bought for a video on like comparing them, but I get so tempted because a new skin tint comes out and I want to try it. And then I figure I should review it as well. 
but I may like scale back on that. And this is where like your input comes into play. But as far as all the other makeup related things, I'm just not the expert on it. I need to cut down on my stash and I think I'm gonna kind of taper that off. Now, I may do one-off makeup videos. So maybe like a hot new <laughs> tinted moisturizer or something or skin tint that like I really just think people will want to see or like if Mac ever goes back to their old face and body. I don't know, maybe that. But for the most part, it's gonna be like less of a priority for sure. And hopefully that will mean I will buy less of it because I'm looking at my desk and it's insane. <laughs> and then um, skincare is so hard because it takes me a long time to even prep for a skincare video because I can't use a product and then like the next day do a view or a video on it. It just, that would be very ingenuine, disingenuine, that's the word, <laughs> um, and very fake, I would think. So those videos take a lot longer. I'm considering doing some of them. I just don't know how many, but it's just not gonna be a priority on the channel. And then the thought going forward is that you know, sunscreen remains kind of the the point of the channel, but I also really want to add value back into the world and kind of make what my life is like, you, you know, you see a video on here that's 10 minutes about a sunscreen. It takes an hour to film, whatever, two hours to edit. <laughs> but in the grand scheme of things, that's such a short amount of time of my life. Whereas the rest of my life where I'm working out, eating, cooking, trying to like become a plant mom and like raise my plant babies. Um, all these other things are, I think, of more value. Not to say that sunscreen and beauty are not of value. Like I totally get it. I love it too. But I want to put out things that make me feel really good and not need and necessarily like want to spend money just like for the purpose of spending money, I guess. So. I'm going to try to do more like vlog. I don't, I keep using air quotes in the wrong time. <laughs> vlog related content. They're probably not gonna get a lot of views, but that's not the point. The point is that A or one, it keeps me accountable, like my workout goals and my nutrition goals. And then two, I was gonna say B, it's just something like it feels good. Like you can watch it and you're not necessarily like tempted to go spend $50 but maybe you're tempted to go make a healthy lunch or work out or go for a walk. And those are the kinds of things I think can be more beneficial to everyone. So those videos are gonna get very, very few views. <laughs> so that the way that that works, YouTube like just won't push it. And it's gonna be way more work for me, but I think I'm willing to do it. It's not gonna be like a weekly vlog. I just don't have time for that. And I'm not gonna be vlogging per se, like maybe one week is a vlog on what I eat and the next week is a vlog on like how I make a certain dinner or what I do for a workout. But they're gonna be more in that like realm. And the other thing is YouTube doesn't like when people do multiple things on their channel. Like I really should just create my own channel for that, but I'm not going to because that's silly. It would take me so long to get to a thousand subscribers and get monetized. But yeah, that's kind of the, the plan. I don't really have more to say. I mean, the whole consumerism and like targeted marketing to everyone is out of control these days and I don't wanna be more of the problem. So these are kind of my ideas on how I can fix it and how I can feel better while still remaining true to the audience I have and the things that I still do love. So I'm gonna end it here, but really, truly, I want your feedback, your thoughts, and let's continue the conversation in the comments. Thanks guys.